Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and today I'm going to be doing another RC mail haul. It's been a while. I'm not in my studio. I'm at my other workbench here in the basement where I kind of do a lot of my editing and all kinds of stuff. I got my products and things back in there, but um, I have a whole bunch of stuff on the bench here that I got in for a fun project, and I just kind of want to show you guys and tell you all about it, and it'll be kind of a series of videos I'll have going forward here. I don't know how long the series will be, how much I'll do in one, one, you know, fell swoop. I don't know. I might, I might just get the uh, energy and just do like long videos, but I don't know. Um, there's a lot. So, well, let's get to it. All right. Here is everything. And this is the project. We're going to be doing a TRX 4M build from parts. Why? Well, because you can't get them right now. And I was in a, another local hobby shop here, Cobblestone Hobbies. The first time I've ever been to that one here in uh, Holland, Michigan. And I was waiting to pick my kids up from school. It was a kind of a bad day as far as snowy weather. And so I just wanted to be early and head out that way. So um, I got on the road, got there early. So I went five minutes up the road to Cobblestone Hobbies and picked up some stuff. When I was in there, I saw they had a bunch of stuff I could pretty much piece together another one i already had these ones from riders hobby shop and a couple other parts like springs and i had this transmission i'd pulled out of one and uh you know a lot of stuff so this is not the cheap way to do it uh this was a 240 and forty dollar ticket here for all this stuff i did get some upgrades though this was a 50 dollar purchase this was a $50 purchase, so that's 100 bucks of it right there. Um, and then the screws were another 30 And then uh, I had to get the ESC, which was another 50 So it adds up pretty quick. And I'm not sure actually if I'm going to use this or not, but it's nice to have one on hand in case anything goes on one of my other trucks. I have a backup and so I'm trying to do that. And I have a whole bin actually right over here. I hate to take this off the camera because it's going to be a pain to get back on. But I've got a whole bin of other stuff that I picked up along the way of parts. And I have a takeoff servo in here somewhere that I could use. So I was able to just use some of the parts that I already have. But I had to buy um, a few essential items like this right here for mounting the the transmission so it's the center skid plate plus the end ones um which are basically what you use to clip your body on so you needed those this is a very important part to have i did get the stainless steel screws for this one um i had to buy the rear axle because i already had the front one so i'm thinking about taking these apart and putting in the bearings when i do this build so um i also had to get a drive shaft one of the crazy things was I looked at the metal ones. They're very expensive, but they still use this O-ring even on the metal ones. So as strong as everything can be, your weakest link on any of them anyway is that O-ring. So I said, nope, we're doing plastic. Not worth the expensive amount for the metal drive shafts that are super weak because of an O-ring that can pop. So 12 bucks. That's the way to do it. Had to get some links. Still can't get metal ones. So we did those. And, um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on here that we'll be getting into. I think one of the first things that I, I'll do is I did order from Traxxas the, um, the gear ratio, uh, the low range gears. I got two sets of them because basically I'm going to take both the transmissions that I had already and I'm going to put a, uh, a low gear into one and in the other one, I'm going to put the high speed gear and have them just ready to go. Don't really see a need for this middle gear middle range i don't know maybe i'll leave one middle range and just save the other gears for the the speed one that i'm building for the monster truck but um yeah i'm still not sure the one thing i didn't get was a radio so i'm probably gonna have to order one of those unless somebody has one that they want to get rid of i was looking at the idea of i ordered from flubber stuffers and it's in the mail should be here is a mount to put a komodo on in which case I wouldn't use this and I wouldn't need their radio. So I would do more of a, a custom build. So that's a potential is to do this one as a brushless truck and run a different radio and different uh, ESC. But then I wouldn't need the light kit. 
So there's a lot of things that I'm thinking about and going over in my mind how I want to do this uh, because they are so cool. I, my thought is to just make another one that runs uh, with the low gear so we can just take them out and kind of run them as almost stock trucks. But, you know, so much of me wants to really, you know, comp one out here. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I comp it out? Should I have two matched trucks that I can go out and let the boys, you know, have an equal run um, together with or what? So I was able to find these, which is why I'm actually going to use that front axle. I did find these steering blocks and casters. So uh, I do have axle casings. And that was the one thing I couldn't find in case I broke something. And so I'm good to go now. Um, and so I can actually use these up, this axle I bought basically for the caster blocks uh, was here. Uh, these are 40 bucks for a front axle. The rears are only 20 bucks, which isn't too bad, I don't think. Uh, 20 bucks for the axle isn't bad at all. Um, but yeah, you can see how it all adds up. But that's the project, guys. I will say that um, also on the bench is something new right here. I got the Prusa up and running here and printed off a body, an old Chevy truck body. Um, I gotta still get the grill. I printed it already and the bed. Well, I only did the tailgate of the bed. I still have to print the bed. But um, man, wow, having a good printer and getting good prints definitely changes the way I, I feel about 3D printing. I did not have great experiences with my other printers, but these are are very clean, so. I'm very happy with how it's it's working for me, which it better for the cost of a Prusa, but um, now I see why there is a cost like this associated with it because these are really, really clean. So anyway, that is a quick look at the uh, on the bench thing. I think what I'm gonna do first is just a video showing um, in doing things in stages. I will probably uh, do videos showing how to do the transmission while I have it off. I did get the rails. Where are the rails? Oh, they're under here. This is another must have. And this is only 10 bucks for um, the chassis rails. So that wasn't too bad. So that, and then the skid plate, I think was what, 10 bucks for this? Five bucks? Five bucks. So that isn't too bad. Then I had to get the battery tray and the strap and those kind of things. So I've kind of been working toward building it out as a stock truck. So we'll see. I'm torn because maybe I'll leave this one as bushings if I'm gonna go stainless with it and make this the truck that goes in the water. I don't know. But I bought a stainless kit for this one. Although I'm not gonna be taking all of these and switching these out, so I'm torn. I will probably just use the other screw kit then, the black one just to match since those are already kind of pre-built we'll just stick with it but anyway that is it guys the uh upcoming build i did like this white bronco body i plan to leave it white and run it in the snow in this winter because i think it'll look super slick with the white snow with the white truck and just um i don't know clean looking is how i, I think it's gonna look so that's the plan at least for now but I had the tires off the other trucks that I pulled off here. I've got these came off of the, uh, they come off of the Defender. So I've got some stuff that are, are, are pull-offs. And then the rest are going to be things that I have in here. But lots of parts that I've bought. I've uh, spent a lot on this one. People say, you know, they're awesome out of the box, whatever. But you can see, regardless, you go down rabbit holes and rabbit trails. And um, you still spend money, even on trucks that are decent just to make them better. So, you know, whether you say, well, the axial needs, you know, a lot of money thrown at it to be any good, you know, this needs some thrown at it. Um, I feel like, you know, I don't feel like it needs a ton. Most of these parts were bought to be spares. And then I decided let's just build a truck. <laughs> so it's going to be the most expensive TRX 4M stock truck ever. There we go. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, have fun RCing. We'll catch you next time.